Then, um, and while your favorite truth are burn out, the mag keep going, of course, because I spit truth naturally. Of course, it just comes straight from the brain. Now, today we go take a look at these so-called ancient Egyptian mummify. We go check it out, these mummies, and we go check it out why nobody can do that and emulate that mummy shit in modern times. We go break it down and get into it. Let's go ancient Egyptian burial site, a team of archaeologists are exploring tombs first excavated more than 100 years before. Yes, yeah, so archaeologists exploring tombs, you better wake your ass up, people. I told you all archaeologists is fakers and the masses here to work for the government, basically to keep the damn dumb down tricky going. Of course, dumb down teaching, they give the masses. But this time around, they discover something incredible. Mm -hmm. An all too rare insight into the enigmatic process of mummification. Always discover something. The archaeologists, you understand? They told you they're digging rocks and dirt and they're finding all these shit that they have in museum. The trick the human being actually have them pain to go see it. People just dumb. All shit that they made up in modern times and trick you and say it's ancient. Wow. The find promises new revelations about the methodology behind the mysterious and long forgotten rite. Mm -hmm. long From forgotten the Great Pyramid right. of Giza to the Great Pyramid of Giza, and of course they always mention this shit when it comes to mummy and grave. Okay, no doubt about it. Because it is a devil worship, 100% to try to raise the devil spirit. That's how they do it, no doubt about Countless it. Countless relics that fill museum cabinets around the world. Mm -hmm. The influence of ancient Egypt can still be felt globally today. Mm -hmm. There's it nothing ancient about the so-called Egypt. It's nothing but fakery. They give the masses, use it to run a lot of psyop and the dumb people. However much we already know about this great North African civilization, there's always more to learn. Mm -hmm. There's much about ancient Egyptian culture and traditions that for now at least remains lost to time. Mm -hmm. The story of one of the world's oldest and grandest cultures began way back in the 31st century BC. Mm -hmm. 31st century BC, all fake they bring the people and they bought it and run with it these ancient days. Or you think that they did this recently? You better wake your ass up. Just when they tell you they discover it, that's when they show up with it, okay? No doubt. That's when they make it for the dumb people. You see the eyes? They're always showing you one eye. Of course, the same Aya Cyrus, Aya Ra, they fall in the dumb people. With the unification of the two kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt. Mm -hmm. The Upper king responsible, Narmer, mm -hmm. also known as Menes. Why they got the serpent in the forehead? He show you that it is devil work. No doubt about it. And anything got to do with raising the dead, it is black magic. Is today regarded as the first pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Although the Egyptians yeah. themselves wouldn't come to use this term until almost 2,000 years mm -hmm. later. Nonetheless, the template created by Narmer, now known as the early dynastic period, would endure for about 3,000 years. 3,000 years, right on the money for your number three. You believe them people? I told you it's nothing but fakery. They build it like a little site, put it right here, and trick the dumb people, tell you it's Asian Egypt. Egyptian history is fakery, 100%. And I told you, when they told you they discover it, that's when they fuck and make it. During those early days, the ancient Egyptians also founded Memphis, the first mm -hmm. capital of their great kingdom. Mm -hmm. Indeed, for millennia, this city remained the most important in the region. Mm -hmm. And even though it eventually lost its status with the founding of Alexandria in the 4th century BC, mm -hmm. yes. its ruins continue to fascinate archaeologists to this day. Mm -hmm. Of all the many arcane rites of ancient Egypt, among the most fascinating is the practice of mummification. Mm -hmm. now practice of mummification, you see that? Why they messing with the dead? And I said, what did they so-called use? And those mummies that keep them so-called preserved over 2,000 years. You tell me, people. You believe it? All right, let's listen. No one's often observed that the process was carried out to preserve human remains in preparation for the afterlife. Mm -hmm. In preparation. Keep them preserved in preparation for the afterlife. You better wake your ass up. It's nothing but trickery they got for the people. And I told you, the past kings of the earth, rulers of the earth, I told you already, those are the people who they basically worshipping under the queue. People don't get it. Those are the past so-called kings of the earth, which is all satanic people trying to take over. Those are the people they're trying to raise from the damn dead. The spirit, of course, no doubt about it. However, the full story is much more complex and nuanced than that. 
According to experts, the practice of mummification may date as far back as the earliest Egyptian dynasties. And apparently, it has its roots in the ancient belief that the human soul could be broken down into three parts. You hear that? Wow, nothing but brainwash. The human soul can be breaking down in three parts. A soul, people. Your soul is just one thing. Can't break down in on three parts. It's bullshit. 100% in. Without the body to act as a vessel for the different elements, it was feared that these pieces could become scattered and lost. Mm -hmm. Because of this belief, the ancient Egyptians were terrified of any harm coming to their physical bodies after death. Mm -hmm. So life. those with the means often took steps to safeguard their corpses. Mm -hmm. For example, sometimes tombs would be inscribed with prayers. You believe that, people? And all they're showing you right here is what the unheaded creature. Wow, I told you all devil work. And you could see the anic bent up like a damn rope. Of course, they're falling the damn mass. To shield their inhabitants. Keen to remain in top condition for the afterlife, many of ancient Egypt's richer inhabitants chose to have their corpses mummified. So if you talk about soul, why you still want to protect the body? It's all about the soul. So why would you want to protect the body? It's bullshit. 100% in. And as you could see, all X's right here on the wall. X is all six. That's what you need to know. Six, six, six. To their death. And although many of the associated rituals changed over time, mm -hmm. it's believed that the essential motivation, preserving the mm -hmm. physical body as a vessel for one's immortal soul, mm -hmm. remained the same across the centuries. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they believe in afterlife, they know that the body can never travel with the other life. That's what you need to know. Why would they go to all that to preserve the body? It's nothing but satanic shit. Black magic. They're working on the people. Because those people that work black magic, they're basically telling themselves that they can do all of that shit right there, raise the dead. Wow, there you go. All of these shit that you see, these look like real people to you. You better wake up, devil. Ancient scripts suggest life. that mummification took approximately 70 days mm -hmm. and involved a num days, number seven. of different stages. Mm -hmm. First, the body was cleaned and prayed over before mm -hmm. being bathed in a primitive disinfectant. You hear that, people? You want to hear it again? Let's go back. Many days and involved a number of different stages. First, the body was cleaned and prayed over. Bef Clean and prayed over. Of course, people, don't be dumb. It's all devil trick. Of course, no doubt about it. Black magic, they're working on the masses. Listen again. Many days and involved a number of different stages. First, the body was cleaned and prayed over before being bathed in a primitive disinfectant. Mm -hmm. After they did disinfectant. They can't get that dis disinfectant today. That's why they can't do it now. But people could do it back in the ancient Egyptian history. The organs were taken out of the corpses mm -hmm. and mummified in a separate process, mm -hmm. often interred next to the cadaver in vessels known as canopic jars. Mm -hmm. After the organs were removed, the body was left to dehydrate, mm -hmm. using salt to speed up the drying process. Mm -hmm. Use salt to speed up the dry process. Is this a human being with a dog head? Wow. Mm-hmm. After about a month, the corpse underwent another 30 days of ritual and an days is another code again. appointment with various oils. Mm -hmm. Eventually, the cadaver was wrapped in linen, the final step in a process that the ancient Egyptians believed imbued mere humans with a measure of immortality. I always talk about wrapped in linen the same way they tell you they find the so-called Jesus, the linen that he was wrapped in. You believe that shit, people? It's nothing but fucking fakery on the masses. Given that the ancient Egyptians practiced mummification thousands of years ago, mm -hmm. our understanding of the process today is remarkable. Mm -hmm. However, many mysteries remain. For example, we still do not fully grasp how the different perfumes and oils were used to... Perfume and oils. You see? You see, this is why they say they can't basically do it this time. <laughs> the special perfumes and oil. I told you, when it comes to oil, you already know 100%. His black magic they're working on. ...thousands of years ago, our okay. understanding of the process today is remarkable. Okay. However, many mysteries remain. For example, we still do not fully grasp how the different perfumes and oils were used to preserve bodies, mm -hmm. or of what exactly they were composed. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, a recent discovery looks set to shed some light on these enduring puzzles, oh, and the find was uncovered in oh, Saqqara. I always get to show you this shit right here that they've put there for the dumb people. 100% bam. As you could see, this shit right here is one of the images they worship, and you could see it in Las Vegas, sitting right there at one of them hotels at the front. And you could see this one right here with the one eye symbol. That's what you need to know. Fallen angels on earth, 
That's who they were. The vast ancient Egyptian burial ground associated with the former capital of Memphis. Mm -hmm. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the area is also home to the Pyramids of Giza, mm -hmm. perhaps some of the best known relics mm -hmm. in the Lost World. Mm -hmm. In the Lost World. Why you think they call it Lost World? The fucking people in the world is lost. So they fill them in with all of these garbage. Yes, the Pyramid of Giza and all this bullshit about mummies. Fooling the dumb people, they set this site up right here to fool the people with low IQ. According to legend, Memphis was founded back in the 31st century BC oh, when the first pharaoh channeled the water of the Nile mm -hmm. and built his capital on its banks. Yeah, and by the time... Talk about this shit right here in modern times. That's what you need to know with their damn 3D printers. That's how they do it. Of course, you better start doing some checking and see how they do this shit right here. Nothing but giant... Fucking 3D printers. That's what they use them to do. No doubt about it. Why you think a f a one of them 3D printer costs half a million dollars? They don't want the regular people, the public, to get their hands on it. But it can do all of these big shit right here. Don't worry about it. Or did they do the Mount Rushmore? You better wake up. It's the same fucking shit on Fallen Man. It was finally surpassed by Alexandria. It had apparently served as the focal point of ancient mm -hmm. Egypt for almost 3,000 years. Mm -hmm. Always on the money with your numbers. Three. At various points in its history, some experts believe that it was the biggest city in the world, mm -hmm. with a population of 30,000. Mm -hmm. Here you go again, another 30,000, all coding. With so many inhabitants, the citizens of Memphis needed a sizable burial ground. Mm -hmm. And during the early dynastic period, the first of the city's nobles were interred at Sakaar. Mm -hmm. Later, kings began building tombs and pyramids in the necropolis, mm -hmm. and today the site covers. Why would the kings build pyramids? You can't live in there. Why would they build pyramids? Why would they waste their time to build that pyramid? You better wake your ass up in the middle of nowhere. Devil worship, 100% in. There's more than 62 square miles. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the rich history of Saqqara has caught the attentions of numerous archaeologists over the years. And in the 19th century, the first excavations took place at a site close to the Pyramid of Unas, mm -hmm. a 5th Dynasty pharaoh okay. who ruled ancient Egypt mm -hmm. in the 24th century BC. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're building back then. They have these bricks right here to build it. I told you, Freemasonry, all the way across the board. Free After Masonry. that initial excavation, the site at Saqqara was left undisturbed for more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. Then in 2016... A joint team of German and Egyptian archaeologists decided to take another look. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they... In 2016, they're going to take another look. You better wake your ass up. ...hope to use the latest technological advances mm -hmm. to reveal new insights about the location. Bullshit. In July 2018, a group of officials and journalists gathered at Saqqara to hear the results of the new probe. Mm -hmm. And according to the director of the Saqqara Sake Tombs Project, Dr. Ramadan Baudry Hussein... Mm -hmm. There'd been some exciting wow. discussions. All fucking play on names they got for the masses, no doubt about Price. it. Mm -hmm. We are standing before they a gold mine of information. Why would they build this shit right here? Wow, in fucking primitive time primitive time. Why would they build this right here? You better wake up. It's the government people, the damn elite. They're the one who do this shit right here. To fool the dumb people. All day of the week and trick you. Lead you in the wrong direction. Later on they tell you. They was built by aliens, and they're going to come back. Of course, that's how they do the life. He told the audience. The Buried beneath the ancient necropolis, archaeologists had discovered a kind of proto-funeral parlor mm -hmm. where mummification once took place. Don't trust no archaeologists. They're all fakery. And according to experts, it's the first such establishment ever found. Mm -hmm. Thought to date from the Sate Persian period between 664 and 404 B.C., mm -hmm. During this time, the Egyptian state dynasty ruled over the region, mm -hmm. followed by the Persian Archimedes Empire. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the mummy workshop was constructed from limestone and mud bricks, mm -hmm. and was a, a mummy workshop where they build mummies. Wow, they trick the masses. That's what you need to know. They're all fakery. You believe in mummies? You believe in ancient Egypt? Wow, of course you've been brainwashed. All fakery they give you. With vats where the bodies will be prepared. Mm -hmm. However, that was far from the most exciting discovery made at the site. Mm -hmm. In the depths of a 12-meter shaft, the archaeologists found a it again. 12 is the number three. chamber packed with incredible artifacts. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, the pit contained hundreds of cups and bowls that had been used in the embalming process thousands of years ago. And what's more, the containers were marked with labels mm -hmm. detailing the substances that they had once held, mm -hmm. as well as guidance on how to apply them. Mm -hmm. Together, archaeologists hope that these artifacts will shine new light mm -hmm. on the ancient practice. Mm -hmm. 
This discovery is so important as it's extensive, Hussein explained. We have oils and measuring cups. All of them are labeled. From this, we can find the chemical composition of the oils and discover what they are. Bullshit. 100%. So why you just don't talk about it then? Tell the people what it is that they use to keep these people preserved, wrapped up in a fucking blanket. Moreover, the site has also offered up clues as to who exactly was buried there. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a burial shaft stretching about 300 meters was. 300 meter, he miss it. Every fucking thing come out of his mouth is three. Discovered adjoining the embalming workshop. Mm -hmm. Inside, archaeologists discovered dozens of mummified bodies. Mm -hmm. Additionally, oh, they also found. Go your mummified bodies. You believe it, people? Only dumb people believe in this shit right here. And I told you, they always push these sodomite videos on my feed. Of course, I'm gonna hit them with the bag. A number of sarcophagi made out of stone. One of which appeared to be the final resting place of a woman named Tadahor. Bullshit. Interestingly, fake for the masses, brainwash for the dumb people, and of course, it's to back up the teaching that they fed you from back in the day. The team found a number of afterlife related statuettes known as Ushabti surrounding Tadahor's sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. Formed by a type of glazed pottery known as faians, these figurines were typically placed in tombs by the ancient Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they believed that the Ushabti would you believe in it, people. Okay. Follow them into the afterlife, where they would take care of chores. Okay. Amazingly, the mummified priest was wearing a mask forged from gilded silver and precious mm -hmm. onyx, with inlaid accents of obsidian and calcite. Mm -hmm. And according to experts, such a discovery is incredibly mm -hmm. rare. All More of these shit right here is devil idols. That's what it is. They worship them for real. Devil idols. They're never gonna let them go. So they basically act like they discover it so called so they can put it in a museum. Show it on Science Channel all over the place to fool the dumb people. Over, it's believed that the artifact mm -hmm. represented a crucial stage in the journey of the deceased. Mm -hmm. the deceased, you believe them people? Why they can't copy that mummified shit today? Why not? They can't do it. It's fake shit. Gilded silver masks had a deep religious meaning. Hussein told Archaeology Magazine. Mm -hmm. Egyptian yeah, religious yeah, texts indicate idea. that the bones of the gods are made of silver mm -hmm. and their flesh is made of gold. Mm -hmm. A mummy mask of silver and gold. Oh, bullshit people. One hundred percent trash. Mummy mask made out of gold and silver. Are made of silver, and their flesh is made of gold. A mummy mask of silver and gold is a step towards the transformation of the deceased into a god. Wow. However, it transformation of the deceased to a god. I told you what they're doing already. You never believe me? I never miss. I already told you what it is. It's devil work. They do their black magic. Hopefully they can rise back the dead people, the dead devil people. Of course, that's what they want to do. Doesn't appear to be just priests and nobles who were laid mm -hmm. to rest at the site. Mm -hmm. There are clear socioeconomic differences between the mummies and the shaft, mm -hmm. Hussein explained to the audience assembled at mm -hmm. Saqqara. We see that mummification happened above ground. Buried down there were either buried in private or shared chambers. Bullshit For mouth. Hussein and his team, the discovery yes, represents... Of course, they bury them between these rocks right here, pile them up. You believe them people? You believe this is real? It's a dumb check on the mag, bit of truth, bam. An incredible opportunity mm -hmm. to learn more about ancient Egypt. Fakery. In particular, mm -hmm. they find offered fresh insights mm -hmm. into the complex ways in which this civilization mm -hmm. regarded death. Mm -hmm. Moreover, their success served as an effective showcase of the mm -hmm. benefits of revisiting old sites armed mm -hmm. with new technology. Mm -hmm. Egypt needs a second round of excavation, focusing on the old sites explored in the 19th century. Hussein and your picker and show it to show you that they're digging rocks and they're finding all type of discovery you believe them people it's time to wake up this is a dumb down trick for the dumb masses and of course every time you see them it's another lie they bring to the masses and you can see them on youtube i told you already youtube is a mainstream media they used to trick the masses basically tell you it's an alternative media that you have freedom of speech on and then all of a sudden you see them they're the one who take it over with their fucking fake nose that's why i hit them with the bam every time i catch them on my channel i'm gone